Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll do a little bit on scope and make a simple little calculator. So let's make a new class and call it calc. And the first thing I'll do is make a variable called public input. Uh, public input to and public output. So let's create a function and call it set input. And we're going to take a value from here. Let me just make this so you can follow along easier. So let's say new calc. And let's say calc equals new calc. And we'll say calc set input 5. Okay. So we're going to take a value up here and say int. And um, we'll say this input equals int int. I'm just typecasting here. We'll do another one for set input 2. And we'll call the set input 2. So calc set input 2. So we set both of these and um, let's get um, the final output of multiplication and let's just call this um, get result and we'll do return this output well we gotta do the math first <laughs> this input that has to be two okay this input times this input Two, and we want this output to equal this input times this output two, and that should do good. So we'll do calc get results, and we want to echo that out since it returns it, and we get 110. So that works. Now let me break this up just one more time. I'll just do this function. Um, calculate so that we calculate inside of a different method and um, we'll do calc calculate okay and get result okay same thing now there's almost no reason to use this get results because we can say calc um, input and we can already echo that out. There's five, and we can echo uh, calc output. And I forgot to echo it. We have 110. And an even bigger problem is you could say calc output equals 200, and then say let's echo it out. see uh, and this could cause some monkey business so what would you do to protect the output you would make it either protected or you'd make it private the reason you use protected is for classes that extend this but for this example I'm going to make it private so then we can't fetch or change the output let's see what happens Fatal, act, fatal error can't access the private property because we don't want people to uh, jam it up and that kind of keeps it safe and we don't get confused where things are changed throughout a system and everything just works one way and we can easily track down what's going on um, so scope If you did protected input 2, we still uh, get the error input 2. Can't access protected property. And what um, protected does is, let's say we have another class called test. 
and uh, let's have it not do anything extends calc so when it's protected it means this can be molded renamed and grabbed uh, in child classes and private means that it can only be messed with inside of this class itself and public means you can use it anywhere as long as the object is created like here now you should notice that um, you can also do sep more instances of calc like new calc and whoops let me just get that back um, you could copy all this and uh, say call it calc2 and this is a totally different instance of the object and we still have that little error there let me make this uh, public okay so you can have more than one instance of an object and you can reuse with little lines of code just tons of stuff inside of one object over and over alright so hopefully that uh, gives you a little idea how objects work.